we started walking and he kept playing a guy like this to us. He said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take your soul. I'm gonna take your soul from you right now. Cops think they have all the power in the world and can do what they wish. However, there are moments when these evil cops are apprehended by the good ones. Today, we'll be going through these cases where corrupt cops got exposed. On January 26, 2024, a couple of concerned individuals contacted the Albuquerque Police Department, reporting that someone had just threatened them with a... Let's hear what they had to say to the officers. Hi, sir. I'm over here at Circuit at Circuit K. I uh, was leaving the sugar key and uh, we're just out there opening a candy, can I leave? And this guy, uh, you know, he's on a PA system and turns the lights on and says, get out of here. Get, get, uh, get, get out of here. Take your business out, sir. I don't know where he's talking about. So, so then, uh, I, I just said, excuse me. I started walking like this and he pulls his gun out on me. He says, get back, get back. I said, I said, why? He goes, this is the sheriff's office. I said, whatever, dude. So he started walking and he kept playing a gun like this to us. He said, I'm going to take your soul. I'm going to take your soul from you right now. I'm tying in this guy. These guys claimed that the person who pulled on them claimed to be a Bernalillo County deputy. Shortly after, one of the officers spotted someone matching the description and approached him to confront him. Hello, sir. My name is Officer Weatherly. Are you security here? No, I'm just telling you. You're just showing So the reason why I'm talking to you is uh, we got a call for service about... A silver Dodge, a gentleman pointing a gun at somebody else, saying he's going to take a soul and doing all that. Do you mind just stepping out for me real quick so I can complete my investigation? Because this is the truck that they named. Um, did you have an ID with you? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yep. I really just got here. Really just got here. No, I know. So like I said, <laughs> we got a call. Someone's sure. pointing. This is the yeah, vehicle yeah. they gave. No, That's I why I'm talking to you. Yeah, um, I literally just got here. I'm trying to figure out a description okay. for yeah. the mail that did this no i get a bill um so once they give me that we'll continue okay. going if they give me the description that matches you what we'll do is we'll do a field id okay of the person that's okay. what that's called is whoever our caller is will come sure. do all that stuff and right. either say that's him or that's not him okay the person was identified as 34 year old michael barreco and he was the one who had threatened those guys however the officers were still investigating the matter but michael refused to admit his wrongdoing you're not working security or anything no what do you do for work? I work for the county. You work for the county? Yeah. What do you do for the county? I'm with the SO. Oh, you are? Yeah. So you're off duty? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Brett, where are you at? So I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I'm on the west end of the Circle K. You a football guy? What's up? You a football guy? What do you mean? Like you watch football, NFL yeah. and stuff? Who's yeah, your team? Niners guy, man. Niners? Oh, nice. Yep. Barely made it out last week. <laughs> Green Bay. <laughs> yeah, well, Green Bay got hot at the right time. I think their team was just a little too young. Yeah. I'm a Saints fan, so I have Ever since Breeze left, we've been. Breeze is Super I know. <laughs> Michael smelled of alcohol and it appeared as if he was intoxicated. Soon another officer appeared on the scene and both of them decided to detain him momentarily due to ongoing investigation. Yeah. Yep. This is Michael. It's Michael? Yes sir. Okay Michael. So um just to let you know bro, right now you're gonna be detained. Until further notice, just pending investigation, okay? Okay. Um, so we do have to place you in handcuffs for now, okay? Alright. Uh, um, just until we can start some more investigation yeah. of what's going on, okay? Not too good. Yeah. You know, that's not the part. The slip sack? Yeah. There you go. Oh, you got the fob. Lucky. Have a seat for me, right? Yeah, man. Right, just stand by for me, okay, man? Thanks for your patience. Yeah. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go talk to the clerk inside. Yeah. So anything, get more information, yeah. and I'll come and talk to you. Sure. All right.
Michael was searched and put in the back of the police cruiser as the cops talked to each other about it. At the same time, officers were trying to retrieve the CCTV footage to put an end to this altercation. Um, I don't see. Damn, he might be a 34. He might be a legit 34. But uh, I don't see a PA system. Let me, uh, how do you do George, eight twenty-six. Go ahead. Michael, uh, Zarekko is going to be negative. Twelve is valid. Ten four, thank you. We're working, assistant manager's coming to get cameras, so we'll work on that until you can get some footage. Okay. So, let's positively ID him. Yeah. Because Tristan's going to TOT the other guy. Over here? Yeah. So okay. We'll do that first, and then... I, I mean, I got his, I mean, I don't know if you can read it, but you can run him right now and ID him. I just ran him on NCIC. Michael. Yeah. So there's that. Can you, Michael Parsons, or put, yeah. Thanks, um, the last one on the bottom, I don't think it's legible, is that's his phone number, but the one on top vehicle, and it's like UC, or if that's his POV. He also said he works, for, been working with BSSO for 15 years. Oh, really? Maybe he is SO? Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. I don't know. Did you um, say the, like, the 26? Yeah, I think uh, Tristan added it to the call. So do I would probably yeah, have it a... Yeah, it doesn't... Maybe it's a... Is that better? Let me just... Um, you want to turn it? You want to turn it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Give me a sec. I'm not very flexible. There you go. Go ahead and turn. <laughs> Whichever way you want it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You want it like that? Yeah, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing there either way, really. Can you do this one more time? Like, Absolutely. I appreciate that a lot, just so we can see it again. And it's like... Oh, uh, this, mm. this so reverse is hard. It could have been, hey, get the hell out yeah. of here. They're, like, they're, their reaction wasn't. Yeah, their reaction yeah, was yeah. this is This is what I think happened. He saw him, he's probably getting high. He said, guys, get it out. Yeah, yeah. A little bit further back. Yeah, further back? Yeah, when he approaches the vehicle. The officers deduced that it was indeed Michael who came towards them. However, the footage didn't show him pulling out a gun. The cops had to search his car. Michael, on the other hand, was getting increasingly restless as he was inside the police cruiser. With me again, sir? Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not trying to bug, man. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what the status is. Like, I just really want my wife to know that, like, I'm okay. I'm not dead somewhere. She hasn't heard from me in hours. We're going to have these guys kick off. Okay. We're actually almost done, and we can do that, yes? Okay, just give her an update, and we'll give you an update really soon, okay? Was that your only question or concern you wanted to let me know about? Or? Can you tell me what's going on? Like, yeah, we... Booked, am I getting released in the investigation? We 100% we will. Let me talk um, just with your team, and I'm going to come over here. Uh, just with those gentlemen, though, they're kind of my chain of command, like same as yours. No. Soon after, the cops decided that it was useless to keep detaining Michael, so they decided to let him go. However, they were not going to let go of his vehicle as they wanted to get a search warrant for it. For tonight, though, um, you're being released. Um, nothing's going to take place further. We gave your chain the report number and stuff. Um, they'll be, they are willing to give you a ride home. So we're going to get you out of these cuffs, sir. Thanks for being compliant. Um, so let's do that. Let's get you out of here, sir. Just... How, am I, uh, how am I able to get my phone, man? Uh, tomorrow morning, the one sergeant, I don't know if you saw the other one that was with me, he's in contact with the chain. Once things are being like released and stuff, you can get... I can't like, get in contact with anybody like, without my phone, man. Like, not even in court. Well, we, you know, too, like just our side, if we take something out of that truck, we're violating, you know, your rights and stuff. So we had to do the right thing, too. Right. I'm sorry. So, so yes. Michael didn't seem too happy with his car being searched, probably because he was aware of what was inside. Shortly after, the officers were about to be shocked by what they found. You have everything on you, sir, that you need? Yeah. All right. And then I think one of them will help you out, sir. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Appreciate it. And then, um, as far as, um, I wasn't where he talked to you the first time. Um, what was said between you and the other two guys?
lock the door. Oh, because okay. I think you, I think you have four or several times. You know, it was like passing you know, inside the store. And I shot my lights just so they didn't think I was just seeing my random person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to ask him to make me crazy. Yeah. And then, yeah, I got Pierre. I was like, the f <laughs> now. Mm -hmm. And I think it just started to scratch me. Mm -hmm. so I'm waiting for my friend or something. I'm not going to do exactly what I'm doing. Just perceive that it's not doing shooting. You're probably. Did, uh, was there anything more said after that, after that, like as they were walking away? Yeah, no. It was just, just, like super muffled. Just like a, like a professional, obviously. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, uh, I gave you my phone, my contact information, so that way you guys can get in touch with me. Okay. Alright? Okay. Alright, I appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. Michael was sent home with an officer, and the detectives obtained a search warrant for his car. Inside, they found 19 sized empty bottles of vodka and a 9mm handgun with an extended magazine. Michael was then charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and negligent use of a deadly weapon. He was booked into the Metropolitan Detention Center. Well, if you think this officer crossed the line, the next one had one of the worst power trips you'll ever see. I know you want voluntary compliance. Okay, go ahead and put your hands on the back. Wow. On April 19th, 2023, Christopher Scholl pulled up to a gas station as part of his morning routine, but was abruptly approached by Texas City Police Officer Scott Harrell, who accused him of speeding. Don't walk up to my car, please. What? Don't walk up to my car, please. Hey, man, you can't drive through the parking lot like that. You got your uh, driver's license insurance? Any weapons in the car I need to worry about? Oh, man. Ford, did you catch my truck? Robert John Lincoln, 4732, Robert John Lincoln, 4732, Cutter 27. Is there any particular reason why you felt you needed to come through the parking lot like that? I didn't think I did anything wrong. I just came over to get gas. You were speeding and you cut through parking spaces. You know you can't do that. It just will be confirmed on Robert John I didn't think I was doing anything, man. I'm just, I mean, you walked around. I was coming to get gas. Yep. Oh, are we going to go back and forth or are you just going to... You asked me a question. You want me to answer it or not? I'm not... Okay. Officer Harrell was clearly not in a good mood as he escalated a simple situation, whereas Mr. Schull remained steadfast and complied with his command. Parking spaces is the direct I, real, I, re I do realize that. I, I know that there's parking spaces there. And you there's almost all... hit that car that was turning right there. I was watching, man. As soon as you cut in front of me like yeah. that, I was like okay. looking and I watched it happen. So I come here every day. There's almost never, ever, ever anybody. You were sitting there this morning. Now, uh, last week, for about three days, someone was parking there. But if I come here 365 days a year, which I do, there's someone sitting there maybe 10 times. So there's never, ever a car there. So, yeah, I go through there because it's the straight path from the entryway to here, which is what you're going to see everybody else do. But, I mean, you know, I, I hear you, man. I, I got it. To you, it looked like I was going fast. To me, I thought I was going even slower than normal because I didn't want to get too close to you. Joel didn't take long to give his details to the power-hungry cop, and he went back to his police cruiser to issue him a ticket. However, he came back empty-handed, and the reason for this will leave you speechless. I'm not... I send pictures of my wife, the price of the gas here, every right. day when I come through. Okay, look. So, hey, anyway. here, here's the deal, man. Okay, I'm not going to go back and forth and all that. I'm not going to write you tickets, but the only reason I'm not writing you tickets is because I'm out of tickets right now. <laughs> Okay, otherwise you would be receiving a citation. For what? Okay. With the citation, I'm just curious. Disregarding traffic control device. On private property? Yes. Okay. You still, you still can't do that. It's still illegal. Okay. Okay. So, I'm not going to write you a ticket. Um, I, I hear you, man. I, I'm, I'm, I, but, I understand. Uh, I don't, one, I don't appreciate the attitude. <laughs> Two, I get it. You're upset. Nobody likes cops pulling, them, pulling up on them. Nobody likes it. Okay. But you know you did wrong. You know you're not supposed to cut through the parking lot. And instead of being like, oh yeah, I messed up. Sorry, it won't happen again. You want to sit here and go back and forth with me. Right? 
there's a lot better things than, than this to be doing for you. Man. You're right. I was working on a you report. You can be over here. And the, I mean, there's people right now running you 90 miles an hour on the you thing. You want to go to jail? So. You want to go to jail? You could go to jail for this. Knowing that nothing could be done, the officer should have left him alone and vacated the gas station. But the tyrant cop would not let his ego down like this. Make sure that I'm there all the time. If I see it happen again, then okay. we'll go from there, okay? Okay. All right. I'll look that law up on private property, too. I don't believe you have the authority to do anything here on this, on this parking lot like that. I could also take but, you to jail for Class B reckless driving. Okay. Or class, I'm sorry, Class A reckless okay. driving. Because you did almost hit that car. I didn't almost hit anybody. I was nowhere near. There's, there's cameras everywhere. You can do what you want to do, Harold. I can't stop you. If you want to be this way, then that's up to you. I'm trying to be a reasonable person. Are you person. having a bad day, I, I sir? Is that, there a reason why you're acting no, like I'm this? having a bad day because I, you're, have I raised because my you're voice doing to you this to me. Have I raised my voice to you at all, sir? You're the only one who's getting upset. I'm upset because I think this is ridiculous. I think this whole thing is ridiculous. Harold and Mr. Scholl started to go back and forth with each other, and it appeared that things were about to go south. I think it's ridiculous. What do you specifically do you think is ridiculous? That we're even talking about nothing happened. And here we are talking, and you're threatening to take me to jail. No, I'm and so I, I shouldn't be getting upset? Office. I don't call it a threat, sir. It's no, it's a office. threat. It's a, so that is a threat. You're threatening me under color of law now to, to take something on private color property, which I don't believe you even have the authority to do. It's a dictionary now you're term, sir. Okay. It comes from black laws. No, it's dictionary. not. It's a class A misdemeanor for you to threaten to arrest me over something that you know is not really true. But that's what, okay. What, what's the penal code on that, sir? Trust me. That's okay. Trust okay. you. Okay. I, I, we're, we're good. Trust you. We're good. I don't feel like we are. I feel like this is, uh, <laughs> this is, this is a problem. Even though Mr. Schull had done nothing wrong, the power tripping police officer was determined to make life difficult for him. So he did be unthinkable. How is, I feel how like is it a problem? I how feel like you're going problem? to continue to, to commit these behaviors that are unsafe and put people at risk. So you don't feel like you did anything for wrong. For something that's possible, they may do in the future. So we're now now we're playing John Club Van Dam future cop, but you're going you need to stop me from something I may do in the future. That's now your position. You're, you're feeling like you should take action because maybe sometime in the future I might possibly continue to do something. Come on. What is Again. the law designed to do, sir? Oh, I, I know you it's want designed compliance. To stop people I know, from doing I know you want voluntary not compliance. To be doing. I know you want voluntary compliance. Okay, let me put you in the Wow. We'll do this a different way then. And just like that, Mr. Schull was in handcuffs for no apparent reason. It was obvious that he had damaged the officer's ego, and the only thing the tyrant cop could think of was to arrest him. Oh. I'm from the residence. Everything is recorded. I don't talk to anyone in the public unless I have my camera on. Okay? I'm not going to go so, complain to Carol at all. I'm just a little upset because I, I really, honestly... Sir, I watched it I, happen. I'm working on... Definitely you. have better things to I do. I didn't think that I did anything, Harold. I didn't think I did anything. What? Because I didn't think I did anything, Harold. And I still. I know I look young. I this still, is not my first day on the job, sir. I promise. It's you. nothing to do with any of that. I didn't think I did anything. You almost and I was trying hit to, that white truck. I agree with you that, that that's what you think. Then that, there's nothing I can do to change it's your all, point of view. It's going to be on the cameras. I'm going to get copies of it. Mr. Scholl was locked in the police cruiser as the officer called for backup. Moments later, another officer showed up and Harold tried to defend the arrest. Again, like I said, I don't want to be that big of a dick. Lean forward for me just a little bit. Get your phone out. Any firearms in the car I need There's to know nothing about? Like no, I don't do anything. Okay. No, it's not illegal. True. I have multiple ones in I understand. He came through the parking lot and cut through all the spaces. He came through so fast. What? 
and whooped into here and there was a white truck the white truck had to slam on its brakes so i come over here i was just gonna be like hey man chill out like chill out don't be like that but he wanted to go back and forth and argue with me and give me all kinds of stuff and like i didn't have any tickets and i didn't grab a rider this morning so i was like man look this it didn't have to go this way he kept going back and forth back and forth so i was like all right turn the turn the let's go all right yeah, I was I was gonna be I'm a dick, but I'm not gonna be that big of a dick. He has a different phone he wanted me to grab. Right. Can you send him somewhere? Claire. On gate, I'm not finding anything on Technically there was no justification for the arrest, and it seemed that Harold's lack of a thicker skin was the sole reason he went to this extent. Harold came to his senses and realized that the arrest was not needed. So the other officer has a ticket book he's gonna let me use. You're gonna receive be receiving the citation, okay? And uh because I think going to jail is a bit excessive. But, well, I agree with you. But I didn't have another option. I don't have another ticket book and I don't have a ticket writer with me. So we're going to do it that way, okay? Mm -hmm. Step out for me. Take your time. Tighten up. Oh my God. Well, you coming. loosen that engine. The press that scar, man, it hurts. Shoal was visibly disappointed by the officer's action, and he had lost all hope in the police. That's when the officer decided to give him a speeding ticket thanks to the arriving officer. Yeah, I'm going to go right there. Forty, can you pull me case number? Twenty-four seventy, twenty-four seventy. Forty, shells no one in custody. Okay, I see you sign right here. It's not a hey, mission guilt. Mr. Shoal is no longer in custody. It's not an admission of guilt, it's just a promise you'll contact the court on or before the date and time that's written on here. You can contact the court at the bottom here, the information's there and also up there. Free to go, sir. Thank you, sir. After receiving his ticket, Scholl took off in his car. However, soon after this unsettling encounter, an internal investigation was started by the Texas City Police Department. Officer Harrell was fired on September 8, 2023 for breaking departmental rules. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today we saw cases where cops let their egos take over them and made the worst move that ultimately caused their termination. Although the first officer hasn't been terminated yet after being charged with such crimes, it's highly likely he will soon be without a job. This is the best way to remove such tyrants as law enforcement needs calm and resolute individuals if you agree with me please consider showing your support by liking this video and make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these also if you enjoyed this video check out the next video here